Bernard and Sarah are like any typical couple. We're perfect for each other. I remember Bernard was chasing me for months. He used to bring me chocolates and flowers. And then my last boyfriend never showed up one day after work and Bernard was just there for me. They've been dreaming of the ideal wedding but can't afford it. Bernard spends all our money on his tato addiction and then I spent all my money on our his money. tato addiction counselling. Our money. My money. Yeah. We're giving Bernard 10,000 euro to organise the whole thing. Basically, we're going on Don't Tell the Bride. <laughs> I wouldn't give him the remote. Bernard is now three days to find the dress, the flowers and the venue. Oh, for fuck's sake. Three days that will test their perfect relationship to the limit. God, I hope she knows what she... First, Sarah tries on some dresses she hopes Bernard would choose. Oh, Sarah! <laughs> you look incredible. It's always wanted. How much? 500. 500? How much for that? That. It's the Halloween costume, buddy. Next up, how will Bernard get on with the cake? Oh yeah, a three-tier cake. She's gonna, she's gonna love this. It's perfect. A two-tier cake. Sure, it's only gonna be family and friends anyway. What level? Oh, I can get it. I can get it. Sarah travels to look at her ideal wedding location. Perfect. You could have, like, just imagine you could have all the chairs there, and then everybody coming out on the veranda. Oh my God, it's perfect. Sarah, it's beautiful. I so want it, I want it, I want it. It's so gorgeous. But is Bernard having second thoughts about his? This is ridiculous. They have a ball pool. No wedding would be complete without this stag and hen party. And to save that little extra cash, Bernard has a big surprise for Sarah. Did somebody call in a fire? Because I've got a love hose. It's the moment of truth. 